myself a walker, plastic hand grips, frame, length adjustment area, four legs, rubber tips, and push button for folding. Thank you. Okay. The next video that we're going to shoot or demonstrate is proper ambulation by the use of a walker. A walker is a mechanical device for ambulatory clients who need more support than a cane provides. There are many types of walker of different shapes and sizes with devices suited to the individual needs. The standard type is made of polished aluminum. It has four legs with rubber tips and a plastic hand grips. The standard walker needs to be picked up to be used. The client therefore requires partial strength in both hands and wrist, strong elbow extensors such as the triceps brachii, and strong shoulder depressors such as the pectoralis minor. The client also needs the ability to bear at least partial weight on both legs. Four-wheeled and two-wheeled model of walkers, also known as roller walkers, do not need to be picked up to be moved, but they are less stable than the standard walker. The nurse or the caregiver may need to adjust the height of a client's walker so that the hand bar is just below the client's waist and the client's elbows are slightly flexed. This position helps the client assume a more normal stance. A walker that is too low causes the client to stoop. One that is too high makes the client stretch and reach. Proper procedure. When maximum support is required, move the walker ahead about 15 centimeters or six inches while your body weight is borne by both legs. Next, move the right foot up to the walker while your body weight is borne by the left leg and both arms. Move the left foot up to the right foot while your body weight is borne by the right leg and both arms. Proper procedure, walker, right foot, left foot, walker, right foot, left foot, walker, right foot, left foot. Second procedure, if one leg is weaker than the other, move the walker and the weak leg ahead together about 15 centimeters or 6 inches while your weight is borne by the stronger leg. Then move the stronger leg ahead while your weight is borne by the affected leg and both arms. Proper procedure, walker, weaker leg together followed by the stronger leg. Walker, weaker leg together, followed by the stronger leg. Walker, weaker leg together, followed by the stronger leg.